Alright, g'day everyone. I just want to show you a little experiment. This is something, these are a couple of items that you should carry with you in your first aid pack and or survival kit. Now what I've got here is something called potassium permanganate. It's also known as Condi's crystals. And here I've got uh, glycerol or glycerine, which is um, a sugar substitute. can be used in teas and coffees and drinks and foods, but it also has a mild laxative effect if you drink it. Um, there's various different first aid, uh, various different things you can use this for. And potassium permanganate is also um, a first aid product. Uh, it's a mild antiseptic when mixed with water. So I'll give you <clears throat> give you um, an example of that now. What I've got here is a bucket of water, a little bit of antifreeze from the car, and some tissue. Now as a first aid product you need to mix this and dilute it with water. As you see it's just a black powder form, it almost looks like gunpowder. Now I'm not going to tell you how to use this as a first aid product, you need to do your own research. There's plenty of information out there on the internet, I don't want to give you any information just in case it's wrong. So you need to look it up yourself. But it's definitely worth having a first aid kit, so is glycerol. You're out in the wilderness, you've got your cigarette lighters or your matches, your cigarette lighter is broken, your matches are wet, they won't strike cannot find your fire steel but you do have dry tinder but what you can do is use these Condi's crystals these um, potassium permanganate crystals just get some tinder make it into a like a bird's nest and you only need the smallest amount I'll do a close up of this. As you can see, just a tiny amount there. You can actually use less, I'm just using a little bit more um, simply for effect. Now, what you want to do is, if you can, if it's not windy and you're able, make a small well in the middle because the the glycerol it's actually um, quite thick and it runs off it it won't actually soak into it like water would now for this all you need is a stick because you only need a drop so this will do now watch this zero one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine seconds, you've got flame. Now, this is going to be a first for me. I've never done it with radiator fluid, with antifreeze before. But apparently, it works just as good. sure I don't have any crystals on the actual spoon. Now this is radiator fluid or antifreeze. Now, I have no idea if this will work. 
nothing much happened there. by the looks of it you need quite a bit all right let's try that one again I'm using a larger amount this time I really don't see how that's so supposed to start a fire because it's wet. There is a reaction there, but um, I don't think there is heat, but it's wet at the same time. So we found out to antifreeze is nowhere as good as a single drop of glycerol. Alright, let's try it the other way around. It's a much better reaction, much quicker too. So, for example, this stick, just soak that in the glycerol, get some permanganate and sprinkle it on.
potassium permanganate and the glycerol create together heat. There you go, you have fire. This is why you gotta have your kindling ready guys. There we go.